Hi, my name is Karen Stentford and I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Fine Arts and I teach photography. So right now we're in the digital lab in the Purdy Crawford Center for the Arts. So photography courses here at Mount Allison um, cover the full spectrum of color and black and white photography in both digital and analog, as well as alternative photographic processes. Formats include 35 millimeter, right up to eight by 10 inch view camera, as well as digital, lensless, and cameraless. And the idea behind the, the setup of, or the structure of the program is that students are equipped with a strong technical, uh, aesthetic, and conceptual um, skills. And that really allows them to draw from many different ways of working and knowledge to best communicate their ideas. Now we're in the finishing room in photography and um, a lot of what we do here in terms of the history of photography, we do through hands-on learning. And a lot of that can be very precise. You learn how to use a tool um, and you use it with consistent results. And in terms of learning, that's really exciting to, to have that consistency, but there's that other component where it's more of chance and discovery. So that phrase, what happens if? So that's where we're going to talk about pinhole. So pinhole photography is one of the simplest kinds of photography that you can do. Um, it's essentially a dark space, which in this case is a can. And within that can, um, or any space, we need a lens. And we're gonna do that by puncturing it with a needle, just like that. So now I have a camera that is light tight. So with this, we're gonna shift. If you think about the world around you, light reflects off of surfaces all around you. That's how you see, but that's also how a camera records information. So that light is bouncing off of surfaces and it's going directly back into this little hole and it's being projected inside. But that needs to be recorded in order to make a photograph. So we introduce light sensitive paper that we put in we go out, make an exposure, and take back in to the dark room to develop, and we get a negative. And if you want to see what the positive looks like, you either take it into the dark room and work in there, or you go into the digital lab and make a scan of it. So why would you want to work like that? Well, a lot of artists really want to have more involvement with all of the steps along the way. So the ability to kind of have that sculptural element of making your own camera from scratch or converting an, uh, an object such as a garbage can into a camera um, is really appealing. And then there's that element of time and how time is recorded beyond the way in which we see it. So this exposure was 10 seconds. So time passing within the still image, not like how we can ever look at it with our eyes. There's also no auto button and no gadget expectations. The pinhole camera is essentially aim and hope for the best and then repeat. So if uh, you have any questions or uh, you're interested in visual arts and working with a committed and curious department, reach out. We look forward to hearing from you.